He's going to talk about what in the world martial arts has got to do with real estate investing. His name is Sam Wigert, and you're going to meet him right after this. Welcome to the show, Sam. How are you today? Jay, that was quite the intro, my friend. Thank you so much. I'm doing great. I'm honored to be on the show. Thank you so much for having me. Well, I'm honored to have you on the show in my lands. If you don't have the backstory going on there, Sam, I mean, first of all, you were uh, raised, you, you were homeschooled, you and your, you and your siblings were yes. homeschooled. You got seven siblings, right? That's right. Eight of us, two parents. Whew. Well, my wife, Carol Joy, she's one of seven and was raised in a house in Wichita Falls, Texas, with 1,012 square feet. Can you imagine? <laughs> well, then Seven, I was living yes. in luxury because I had 1,900 square feet with 10 people. So, I, I wow, that's crazy. <laughs> I know it. I know. So, I want to go back to your beginning. Now, uh, we're going to get into the subject, as I said in the intro, of what in the world martial arts has got to do with real estate and and how all that mindset and discipline. Now, now, by, now, by the way, I want to make sure we get this clear for our listeners. Do, do our listeners have to become a black belt before they can actually start implementing your real estate strategies? <laughs> <laughs> the, the short answer to that question, Jay, is no, they don't have to. But, you know, oh, black good. belt is a mindset. It's a mentality. I'm sure we'll talk about that today. So if they implement the black belt mindset and mentality, it will definitely help them on their real estate journey. <laughs> 